Hello, and welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. We are continuing Patriot, Mission 7, Heretic. Uh, I said at the end of the last Black Parade mission that I was going to skip over to this campaign for this one mission for now, because I'd already prepped half of this before the Black Parade was released, and also because it's the best mission in the campaign so far, um, in my opinion at least. It is an extraordinarily well-designed mission both in terms of layout and story and objectives so and it's supreme ghostable but it's still very difficult so um, yeah I'm looking forward to this and uh, there are some very intricate parts to the next couple of missions in this campaign I've played the next two and they are all uh, mesmerizingly good and well um, uh, the objectives are interwoven in a very intricate and complex way that I don't think I've seen in many other fan mission campaigns. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult to maybe explain my way through these, but I'll take my time. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into this. Uh, we're going to load up the end of Pathfinder, and which was not a very good mission in my opinion. Uh, there's no briefing because this mission here continues directly after the events of Pathfinder, where if you remember we found our way uh, across the swamps to the Mechanist Monastery, where they have kidnapped and are, you know, most probably holding then the Major, Major Scrunch, who we are working for, and because we have this, you know, self-destructive bracelet on, then uh, we need to find him in order to release us of that sort of captivity there. Uh, so here are our objectives. Find out where the monastery they've hidden the Major. Where in the monastery they've hidden the Major. The monks should stay poor. You need to reduce their temptation by at least 2,000. So that's our loot objective. It's optional, as you notice. But for Supreme, we have to do optional objectives too. But this isn't an issue to, to complete. Free, your ma free the Major and get him outside the monastery to the meeting point which with your guide. Uh, it was hard to infiltrate the monastery. Don't leave too soon. So there are actually some areas where we can go that will cancel this objective and therefore fail the mission. So there are going to be some quite a few more objectives along the way and some that I'm actually going to skip and I'll explain that as I go through it. Okay, we start in a cave. We start with the flare that I'm going to drop right away. Up here is a moss arrow. Other than that, the only thing you need to do in this area is to get out. I'm going to drop the flare because I want to leave that where it was when I started. Since I didn't actually use it. And then we leave that cave this way. You have to go very close to this door to actually highlight it. There we go. Uh, so we start in at the basin. Uh, this is one isolated pocket of the cellar level, as you can see here. By the way... Um, you won't have a map in this mission unless you find and take the map in Mission 3, Spy. Um, there was a... I can't remember exactly what the readable was called, but it was called Monastery of St. Karis or something like that, Maps. And um, if you don't take that, and there's no indication that you will need that, and it's actually quite hidden in that mission. It's wedged between a desk and the wall in... Karis's office, or Capellan's office, maybe, in the eastern end of that compound. But you won't have access to any maps. And in this mission, I think that is very, very uh, important to have. So I'm happy that I took those, and I read up on that a little bit ahead of this mission. So, the cellar level uh, has a hospice area, and it has a couple of rooms here. The, let's see... This room here um, is actually barricaded by a bunch of barrels that you have to uh, blow up with one out of two explosive charges, or it's not, it's actually red barrels that you can shoot with a fire arrow. Um, halfway through this room, that of course would be property damage, so that is not allowed for us to do if we want to ghost or supreme this mission. So we have to, we have to actually find a way to the western part of the cellar. And there is a couple of ways of doing that, actually. So I'm going to have to circumvent that. There's a couple of staircases up and down to the hospice that you can take. Um, 
And the west wing here is the prison area where they are holding the major. We don't know that right now, but that's where we're going to need to go. Then there is sort of a, a shrine uh, area here called the Aquilon. Um, and um, yeah, that's going to be a, a, quite a big of a problem for us to get in here and out here a couple of times, actually. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. So when we go up from the basin here, we're going to emerge in a uh, staircase in sort of one of the main courtyards right next to a well. And this is the crypt level. So this is the lower level, but it's sort of the ground floor. There are staircases here that can take you up to a higher level. This is all outdoors and this is a daytime mission. So we're quite exposed in most areas outside, but um, there, are, there are places to hide. There's a pillar crypt region um, here. There's a conversation in here that we are not going to trigger because that'll uh, start a couple of patrols that I don't want around the premises. There's also a guardhouse here and Abbott's quarters is a separate building that if we don't trigger that conversation, there won't be anybody in there. So that'll be a lot easier for us. And then there is sort of an underground uh, navigational system through um, a crypt, uh, the ossuary, uh, and over through some tunnels here towards the baths area and an underground church. This takes you also to um, uh, the cloister. So this room is the cloister. I thought the cloister typically was an outdoor area, which would be this area, but anyway. Um, there's also uh, an area called the Black Hole here, and another crypt area and a scriptorium, a library of sorts in the north. Uh, and there's also a huge guest hall with a lot of people. That's going to be very difficult. We're going to hit that pretty early. And we are limited in, in a way of what directions we're going to be able to go in this mission. And I'll explain that as we go through it. Then up on the higher level is the chapel level where we can access the, the cathedral which is all this area here. There's also a huge balcony area, sort of a plateau outside. We don't need, we need to really go there. Here's another chapel. Um, and then there is an outdoor open gallery and an archive room that's very important. And then a, it's called a reflectory, but I think it's supposed to be a refectory because that's the, the mess hall or the dining area for the people working in the monastery and uh, it's attached to the kitchen so and then there's an abbey court I, I believe maybe the abbey court is this courtyard here I'm not sure 100% so I'll, I'll show you back and forth to this map as we go through it now the biggest problem right now is that there is a there's a woman called Mora, Lady Mora, that's actually imprisoned here, or will be imprisoned later on, and she will actually, there's going to be several scripts triggered by her, and she will change things around the map, and I want to try to limit the amount of changes that she makes to the map, because that's sort of an indication of us being there. It wouldn't be a bust to trigger those, but uh, because of that, I am going to take a little bit of an unorthodox way into the guest hall. You're typically supposed to go through the staircase and then above the rooftops and down through a chimney into the fireplace here. But that triggers one of those events, which I'll show you. So I'm going to go into the guest hall pretty early to get a key to the monastery baths. That's a very crucial thing we need. We need an item in the baths that we're going to need later on, and since I'm going to emerge pretty close to the guest hall, I'm going to go take that right away. So there we are. A little bit of a lengthy introduction there, but hey, it is what it is. Down in the water here, you can find three water arrows. A 
save. Okay. So this is the monastery then. We're looking north here. So those big windows you see up top, that is looking into the refractory. And then below that you have the guest hall. So the fence on the other side there is on the level of the guest hall. This is a little chapel. Here's a well. Here's a... There's a moss arrow in here. There we go. There is a nobleman on the other side, but he doesn't give first alerts, luckily. Let's see. Let me show you some things here. So this is an entrance into the guest hall. Close throughout the guest's reception. Please refrain from visiting till sunset. So you can open that from the inside. But you can't open it from the outside. So that's why we're going to have to take a little bit of a different way in. And the way that I've found in is by jumping up and mantling up the fence here. Controllers here. It's a goblet we can take there. Come into the light so that I might see the Oh yeah, there was the patroller. <gasps> Let's um save it here. That's worth twenty-five. We're also gonna have to get a purse from that nobleman. Here is also the guy carrying the bath ski. So that fits pretty well right now. So we will go down and soon this carry spoke again. Now raise up the enemies. The builders shall fuel you and all the followers of carries. Let's see. Here we are safe. Let's see. So that all the keys can be dropped back in this mission. So we're going to have to do that later on. There's a moss arrow in the hanging plant here. Take his purse with 100. Wait for him to turn around. He will. Eventually. Oh. I didn't know we had two directions towards the east. He does face west too. Here. There's nothing else in that chapel. Now we come into the guest hall. It's a very difficult area. Um, I'm going to move around this place along the wall. You can't actually do that without getting spotted, which is kind of crazy. The light sources. That shadow move. The light sources are not very strong. There is a goblet over here that I want to take first. There. Is 
There's a lot of loot in here. Now he comes back out. Fifty now with that goblet. Now the biggest problem in the guest hall is a stationary monk over there. Because most of the loot is on the table right by him. So we can't move along the wall this way. Towards the west we have to move eastward. And these two guys here are in a conversation or sort of a scripted movement conversation. Which means that they actually won't... Oh, he won't detect me stealing his purse there. Is someone there? Okay. I should have moved over to that area. By the wall. saw me there, that's why I can't take it. If they... I think they're neutral, but if they alert to what would normally be hunt mode, then you can't take it. So once we get over to the eastern end here, we can move a little bit faster. This is, like I said, one of the toughest areas in the whole mission we do right away here. Okay. This door here is one that you can only open from the inside, from this side. Um, So at least. Yeah. Um, it would have been locked if we had op tried to open it from the other side. So um, you can't lock it again. You can't use that mechanism to relock the door. At least I don't think so. So it remains in an unlocked state now, and you can open it from both sides. So that would be the same as picking a lock open and not relocking it, so I'm not going to use that door at all. That would be to my benefit, but I always try to avoid that. Okay. This mechanist here does talk to that nobleman whenever he gets to that end of his patrol, or doesn't actually physically say something, but <clears throat> he makes the nobleman turn around, and they have sort of a little mock conversation there. All right. Let's see. <coughs> there are already a lot of patrollers in this room. So that monk in blue, we learn about him later. He is, it's not beneficial for us that he's here. So he's going to have to move. <coughs> I don't know if we can get past here without her seeing us. On this table here, there are a total of 10 different gold plates, each worth 
five. The two on the eastern end, so the two on the very end that we see here, they're not going to be possible to be taken for Supreme. Um, because of that stationary monk you see <laughs> right behind the table there. Um, for Ghost, you can take them. The one that is furthest away from the torch, you can take with the first alert. But if you want the other one, I think you have to douse one or maybe two of the torches that are on the closest pillar. So nothing that is allowed for Supreme. So I'm going to skip those two gold plates that are furthest. They're the ones on the furthest table there. But we shouldn't need to skip any other pieces of loot in this mission. That should be it. So ten, total of ten that we have to skip there. Let's see. I'm not sure if this is going to be a beneficial time to go. It might, because now they're both coming this way. So I'm going to make a real save here. We can use that to sort of... We have to go slow, because we hit the lights when we come out into this room. Who's there? He sees us. Is there someone there? <clears throat> so we're going to have to go over here and grab these two <laughs> plates now and then move our way this direction. The other plates are not that difficult because we can come from the other end. But those two plates there can be quite tough. timing here with the patrols. It doesn't look like this is working really well. What noise there? You didn't hear anything. You saw me. So yeah, those two plates that we're going to take now without the Supreme Bust are going to be tough. We can come from the other side. There? Side too, but... Now those two other guys are coming around again from the other. Did that shadow move? Oh, okay. <coughs> Turning around here. Well, this might work. <coughs> Ooh, no, this is not working. We have to wait another patrol route here. This is a tedious room for Supreme. The rest of the mission is not this tedious, trust me. There's a lot we have to do, but getting past this first room here in this hurdle is, is tricky. better for us to actually move from this area. might be a time to go. Let's get the real save there instead.
Is that thou, friend? So now I moved very quickly there because I bounced down towards the chair. That's very annoying. You lean over something that's shorter than you, you often get flung by the engine, and that registers as movement, and then. Need to get back to the shade without him seeing me. Forge thou not the hammer, but be fortified with the builder's knowledge, and let then the higher things be wrought. Then shall thou prosper. Okay, I think I did that. Good. go all the way over to this corner. <laughs> go up here. And here we can move fairly safely. So don't go too fast. Here's a vase. show you something here. <laughs> Fast up here because this is very hot. There is, I believe, no, there's not a fire arrow in this one. On the tables in the guest hall, there are seven apples and three cheeses, by the way. If we go up here, this is the way we're supposed to go down. <laughs> here is a gas arrow that actually counts as a secret. Up here, there is a a um, ladder. We don't have anything. We can't get up that ladder now. But if we do go up that ladder, halfway up it, then uh, Mora, this uh, there's another thief on the premises. She will get caught and imprisoned later. Uh, she will actually knock down the ladder on the outside of this chute on the um, on the roof. Basically, so that you can never go back down. You have to, you're you're confined to going through this guest hall, and that ladder will lay along the roof, and that is what I want to avoid. I want to avoid that interaction with her well, that she she does that. So we're instead going to clean the guest hall the way I'm doing now. Now we just have to wait for an opening to take the remaining plates here on this on this table. We took three so far. I'm just going to check real quick. If someone is there, then show thyself. Friends, good call. They're worth 10 each, not 5 each, as I said. I just have to wait for these guys to pass, so I don't get spotted here. There. Oh. Didn't know they 
then remember that they stopped there. We have to find an opening here too for all this remaining loot. We basically just have to wait for this mechanist again to be beneficial to us. He is the one messing us up here. We just need to take the five remaining plates here. We should have 380 when we leave this room. We can leave through that gate that he is at now, but as long as he's stationed there, we can't do anything. Because he will see us um, when he turns and heads back east. And now this other monk is coming. So, yeah, this is just terrible, terrible uh, timing here for all of these. But that's okay. We'll wait. It'll speed up a lot once we are out of this room, though. What do I see there? Now he comes back again. See that? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Can't really go any slower either because um, we're lit up, even though it looks like it's shade here. Here we're dark. That's not going to help us because now these other guards are coming back. Well, we just have to wait here. that isn't a monk then it's a nun <coughs> I must admit I never thought this would room, room would take this long it was pretty beneficial to the routes when I played it to test for the recording. The problem now is that he is going to stop here now, so when he goes back, the, the others are going to be on their way to return. Seems like he would be checking that the gate is closed, but I guess that's not what he's doing. <coughs> this is absolutely terrible timing here. I might just have to, like, for you 
you guys not to sit through all this, just cut it and then go back when it's actually beneficial, because this could take a long time. And now that blue monk is coming back too. <coughs> The biggest problem is that it looks like it's dark, but it's not. When you get closer to the tables, it is not dark at all. We have to take five more plates. could be beneficial, I'm not sure. If it, no, because she's going to come back. <coughs> Who said that? says that. I have to go slower then. What noise there that softly called? Waiting. I do not blame anyone if you skip past this. If you catch that lady and those two patrollers where they go both go east at the same time, it's easy. But if they're on opposite ends of their patrol, which they are right now, it takes so long for them to sort of synchronize and catch up. It's almost impossible to do this. sees me when I come back, see? Or when he goes back east.
Would it maybe work now that they two walk back? Those two guys are coming back, but they are so far away that they might not see me. We'll see. <coughs> Should I trust Come into the light friend? so that I might see thee. Did thou see us not? <laughs> there, that's what noise there. said, let us give thanks to the builder, for he has formed my hands with fingers, and behold my fingers interlock like cogs on a gear. I am part of his unbeholdable machine, and therein lies my salvation. Oh, he didn't talk to him this time. <coughs> What's that? That is so annoying. I thought he was going to stop over there and talk to that guy. Okay, well that... Then that won't work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought we had an opening there. If he had stopped and conversed with that nobleman, we could have caught it all and just gone back.
So we're almost an hour into the recording already, and we haven't gone through the first room. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm not giving up. I'm getting those five pieces of loot. I don't really care about how long it takes. They're almost synchronized now. Uh, I think maybe a loop or two more, and they will go back at the same time. Let's just hope then that this mechanist is also going back then, and that the blue monk isn't here. We do have to come back to the guest hall to return the baths key, but that we can actually do in the garden on the side. Oh, why did you have to stop there? Wait. Got it. <laughs> we got it, finally. Okay. This is the entrance to the... pillar crypts up here. So we now walked up the stairs and the main entrance to the guest hall. In this bucket you have three water arrows. Now we are not going to aqua up there because like I said I don't want to trigger that conversation that is in there. We'll hear that a lot later. Is that now, and here's the guy with the bucket. He has an extremely long patrol. I'm not really sure what side he goes on. might notice that this nobleman has actually turned to face south. He does that sometimes. I'm not sure why. Okay. And here's a water arrow. He can still give a second alert, that guy, but slow. So now we are in the guardhouse, essentially. And this vase here is a water arrow on the table. We don't need that, but that guard is going to come in here. That's why I wanted to, to get through it. Let's read this. Claim journal. 
entry 23. What fool blocked the way through the cellar with uh, brandy casks? Now we have to carry all other provisions by the long route, using the staircase. And all the monks are furious. Claim journal answer to entry 23. It's dictated for safety reasons, as we now have that important prisoner. We are ordered to block or complicate all possible ways of getting to his room. Use the roundabout way and don't forget to lock the door tightly. Garrison Commandant. Claim journal answer to stupid answer to entry 23. What safety are you talking about? This brandy is even more dangerous than powder. To keep so many flammable casks in one place is asking for trouble. Friend. Claim journal. The final answer to entry 23. Ferguson, I've recognized your lopsided script. For the next three nights, you'll be on extra duty. Garrison Commandant. No more. <laughs> so this actually tells us quite a bit. It confirms what I said, that in the cellar, in this room here, <coughs> there are brandy casks that are flammable, so they're explosive, and can be destroyed. Um, but that actually justifies why we can't go through this direction. So they're talking about this staircase here, this long route, but this door is not possible to open. It's not even probable, or I, I don't think so. There's no key for it. So that's, you know, they said, tight, lock it tightly shut after yourself. That's what's been done here. Let's see. We're gonna head down here. This is um, kind of a guard's room. And in here you have a stack of gold coins. Total of 405. There's nothing else in this room. Then you have sort of the main entrance to the whole establishment, so one of them. Here's a contribution box with some coins that we can take. 415. Oh, I did not know he came down here. I did not know that. I know how far he comes. I guess that's the guy whose bedroom is underneath the stairs. Lucky him. if he heard the doors. <coughs> Here's the monk with the bucket. No, it's not. It's a different one. <coughs> Alright. This is then Abbey Court. Okay, so this is Abbey Court. It's not the... So, Mora, this thief that I've been talking about, she's going to lock this door. We have to go up here, so there's nothing we can do to avoid that. Did you hear it now? Yeah, I think this door is locked now. So that happens when we come up here, we can't really avoid that. past here. You have to read this. Please find the first monastery charter in the archive. I need it for my current case, the abbot. <laughs> Alright. So this is then the archive key. And that we definitely need. <laughs> and that laugh there is Mora laughing from us taking the archive key. He also took uh, sort of a quill pen there. Four forty. 
that key we're going to have to return as well later on. Let's see here. I don't think you can open that door. Let me see. For Karis' sake, is there someone there? Stop thy In Karis' name, hold! <laughs> yeah, it's not... <laughs> Probably even. That lies beyond the house of Cavus. Noise. I'm as sure of it as the builder himself. Just show you this area here. There. Didst thou hear that? So when we open this door, that guy will alert with the first alert. You can avoid that because others are using the door. Um, so that's possible to avoid. Um, and if you go across the walkway here, <coughs> northwest, you come then to the staircase that can take you down actually to the hospice. Uh, it can take you to the guest hall, but only if you've opened it from the other side. <clears throat> but it can also take you to the refectory up here. But we can't get past this way. Uh, there's no way to get past here without at least the first alert from that guy. Not from the door. That you can avoid, like I said. But you will get a first alert. Um. <coughs> However, I'm going to put a ghost challenge here for you guys. Because you can get through this area here uh, for ghosts. So make your way past this area and into the <coughs> tower there without busting regular ghosts. That shouldn't be too difficult. But show me how to do that. I'm not sure how many ghost challenges we're up to right now. We're close to 70, I think. <coughs> Maybe more than that. But yeah, that's a nice little challenge for everyone. Come into the Hold Hurry, friend. Show you what's going on down here. Come into the light, Karis, a weed. Which shadow fails thee? Get, get away. Ah! Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> so anyway, down there. There is a rope arrow in a chest. Anyway, I want to show you this, so... <coughs> if someone is there, then show thy... Oh. Oh. Uh. Let's go down here. Mora keeps laughing. This is just an empty storage room. Uh, under here is, I think, three flares, I believe. Here's another guard. And <laughs> here is a chest with a rope arrow. That's really all there is to it in this area. And this shows down to the gate that we saw where we took the, the money from the contribution box. Here is a stationary archer. Come into the light so that I might see thee. Here you can overlook the, the courtyard downstairs. So this then takes you to the to the tower, and this can take you into the mess hall <coughs> or the ref refectory. So yeah, ghost challenge is there to get through that area for ghost without getting caught by the guard by the door there. Okay, now this door is now locked. Um, we can unlock it, but since Mora locked it for us, then we should really leave it in a locked position, shouldn't we? 
So it'll be better for us if we wait for somebody to use that door and then just block it, if you will. Somebody going to go through here now? I'm not sure. No, maybe not. I'm not sure if we can actually do this when somebody's coming up. Maybe we only can do that when we're going down. Yeah, if I had picked it open first, then it would be beneficial if Mora locked it for us. But um, since she locked it, then we want to leave it in a locked state if we can do that. The setting did so unnatural. Okay, so we can do that. So they all have access to this door, it seems like they can they can lock it. In okay. I am part Oilers. So we sh we shouldn't get stuck caught here if we just stand still maybe no good okay we're gonna leave it like that because we're gonna have to go back with the archive key close it and it'll be remain locked, which we didn't do. <coughs> okay. So now we're headed up the staircase here. We're going to hit the abbot's quarters right now. This door can't be opened. Maybe it can from the inside. There's a monk here, but if we walk slowly past him, even the lights here will not give us away. It's that shadow. If we go too fast, we will. That door can be picked open, I think. Um, or at least can, can be opened with the key from the inside, yeah. But when you close... that shadow move? When you close it... He will see it. Or hear it. So I don't know how on earth we're dark here, but it is what it is. <laughs> and behold, a man will come unto thee, and he will be a leader of men. This is a beautifully constructed uh, monastery, I gotta tell you. He will be a shedder of sand. See, we're gonna go in through this window here. Before that, I'm gonna show you guys something. This door is also not possible to open. a guard. I'm going to head up where that guard is. Hmm. 
What shadow passed my view? <gasps> this is actually the upper level of the ossuary, where they are uh, cremating bodies or keeping them. If you go over here, there is an open window there. Here. And see the order of the colors there? Red, green, purple, blue? That is actually a hint to uh, a puzzle that's coming up in not too long. So red, green, purple, blue. It also gives us the possibility to see here. <laughs> We're gonna head into <laughs> Abbott's quarters. There's nothing in this room here, and there's nothing really to worry about in this building right now. This is an empty room, I think. Here is a an office, and here is a code. Right? Here is the colors that you saw in the lampshade. Don't ask me why the colors of the lampshade is the the code, but anyway. So did you remember it? Red, green, purple, and blue. And that's a secret. That opens this. Here's a tiara. That's really uh, all we need here. This is Sister Mora's case, and we can't actually read that. But here is Sister Mora's room key, which we also don't need. There's no loot in there. So I'm going to close this, and you can close it just by pressing any button, really. And it closes up. So, 5... 65, yeah, that's correct. And here's also a statue. And then, very cleverly hidden behind the drapes here. Not here, here. You have a box that contains a cathedral key. That would be very useful, uh, but I'm not going to take it because although you can return it easily, you can't return it to inside the box. You have to put it on top. And there is a way to complete the mission without too much fiddling around without taking that cathedral key, so I'm going to skip it. So those two keys there I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drop overall. Here, there should be a vase somewhere. <gasps> yeah. There we go. It's the library, nothing else of interest in here. There is a patroller in this building, like I said, if we trigger the conversation. This takes you to a tower. We're going to go there in a little bit. In here, um. oh yeah, okay. Here is the key, Abbott's key, and that takes you out the door right by that stationary monk. We're not gonna go there. Okay, I don't think you can't go down here. There's nothing underneath the stairs either, so we're gonna head up. This will take you across a bridge. No, it won't. That's the top level. We're going to head in here. Let's see. And here is a gold watch. Total 700. Here, bathroom is sort of a water mug. There's also a water arrow. And the bucket there. Okay. So now we're in Abbott's sort of chambers. Um, it looks like this is supposed to be readable, but it isn't. Now, up here is a rope arrow. 
Notice that we didn't start the mission with any rope arrows, and we're going to need two. So this is one of the ones I'm going to take. Now, what you also can do here, without getting hurt... <coughs> Here, you can find a secret. It doesn't actually give you anything. It shows that there's a book, The Order of Brick Layers, Chronicles of Opposition to Mechanists. Brick Layers, is that supposed to be sort of a spoof on the Mason? Freemasons? <sighs> okay. I wanna. I wanted to get the count for that. Although it doesn't give you anything. Uh, there's also a fire poker in here. Total 820. And that's all there is in Abbott's Quarters. If we go up here, we can now look down on the staircase that I showed you that we took. So now we're basically walking across this bridge. So these stairs here um, will take you down to this area. So this will take you into um, the pillow crypts. We're gonna go in there. Instead, we're gonna head into this little chapel, or the south crypt, it's called. Uh, in this crypt, there is a door in the southwest corner that can take you to a staircase up to the cathedral. But you need the cathedral key to open that door. And since we don't have that key now, then um, we can't use that's the door there. Okay, we need that piece of loot there. Not sure why he's not moving, because he should be moving. Now we're actually below the ossuary. So let's see, there is a door here. Texture down. I'm not gonna go all the way down, there's nothing there, but there is a very well hidden green vase at the bottom level here.
There is a guy down here, I think. Yeah. But there's nothing else besides. Furnaces, I guess. We're gonna head this direction now. That takes you out to where we were earlier. We'll make a real save here. Let's show you guys something. Yeah, I might as well go in. There's a piece of loot in here that I might want to just take right now. It's in this West Chapel. There's two pieces of loot in there, but one is much easier to take from this end. statue here. <laughs> Show you this. Here's a speed potion. Those are pretty tough to come by, to be honest with you. There. Show you guys something here. This walkway, I'm gonna knock this guy out. to a different part connected to Abbott's quarters, but you can't actually go to Abbott's from here. Oh, is it this one? Yeah. Here is a door. If you had uh, Mora's key, then you could unlock this door. So let me show you that I actually have a save that I can use for this purpose. Show you this one right here. Here. So now we should have, yeah, we have the cathedral's key too, but Mora's room key. So now we can open that and see what's inside. Here is the lampshade that we looked at from the other side. And then... Hmm, hmm I can't see any reason. So I'm not sure if there's something hidden here, some Easter egg or something with this. Maybe there's later in the mission, there's a... a better reason to go back here, I'm not sure, but I haven't figured anything out. Anyway, on top here, there is a journal. That day when I had to leave my home, escaping from the city, when furious creditors were ready to throw me into debtor's prison, that day I had a feeling that my mind would come back to me. Sometime later, after I had found shelter in the monastery and calmed down, enough to not leave my previous name behind and to at least keep a speck of it, I felt myself to be quite sane. But everything changed very soon. The monastery had fallen under the power of the mechanists, but that was half the trouble that was to come. Once I managed to eavesdrop on the commandant's conversation with one of his subordinates, and I finally found out the real cause of my husband's and his ship's death, never before have I heard of submarines, but now I know this. It is a deadly threat to all moving on the surface, or to everyone who stays on the shore waiting for those who never return. Since then I suspect that my mind is ready to start traveling again. Maybe it is already somewhere, swinging in the waves, waiting for the submarine which will finally drown it. If only I could get out of here. To be among murderers is beyond my tolerance. But sometimes I feel a strange familiar lightness. Maybe that's it. Madness. A little more time and I will call it that myself. So this is then Lady Mora's room. So we'll talk, talk to her actually later on. I'll show you that. Let's go back to our save. Whoa, I got stuck. He 
you definitely didn't see me that far away. So now we can head back down. Let's, let me just double check. 920. Yes, that's how much we should have at this point. For Karis. Okay. Where does he go? He probably comes this direction, to be honest with you. He does indeed. He probably goes down the stairs. I don't know, did he, could he, the sound propagation wasn't 100% there. I'm not sure if he actually could see me. Alright. Here are two flash bombs. Here, here, but here's a guy that looks at a big rope pulley system that looks to be broken. Maybe he doesn't give any first alerts. What dragonfly? <coughs> Probably go through a little bit quicker there, actually. Hmm. What shadow passed my view? Okay. <coughs> he doesn't usually alert there. And behold, a man will come unto thee, and he will be a leader of men, and he will be a wager of war. He will be a yeah. shedder of sack, and he will be the spinner of There we go. Here. Who's there? Who goes there? Someone plays at mischief. Right here is a slow fall potion. And if you go down here, you can actually slide all the way down here. But that fails. Don't leave the monastery too soon. Objective. And we actually went down this long, long sloping um, area here. However, after you get Major Scrunch, I think I tried to actually go down here with him, and that also failed the mission. So you can't use this as an exit, even though it registers as an early exit now. I'm gonna go back here. But yeah, there's a slow fall potion there if you're looking for that. <coughs> We're going to continue. We're not moving. Uh, we, this is the hoist area. That's a big pulley for a hoist up. Probably how they get materials or um, products in and out of the monastery. I'm going to go this direction. And here is a fire arrow in the fire there. Two flares over here. And then there are three rope arrows in this one. I'm not going to take that, although I need another one. Because I don't want four in total. 
Uh, here are three crates. We are going to need two of those. That's the way for us to circumvent the blowing up of the crates. Before that, however, I'm going to go through and get the next piece of loot. This one, though, actually. Oops. <coughs> Is that that? So he needs to stay <coughs> facing that direction for the entire time here. Just a boy. We can't make noise there falling down. Is either. that thou, friend? Actually, I'm gonna make this real safe here. Why can't I? Because I had that crate there. The settlings did so unnatural prance that we feared of the forms most unholy about, and did falter and take flight till he that his caras did raise up against them, that we, one and next, did raise us up to. For Karis. Oh, that, I didn't need that. <coughs> Good. We got the rope arrow and we got um, <coughs> piece of loot, the candlestick there, right? 970. Yes. Okay. We're going to head this direction and we are now going uh, west and then north. We've now uh, done with the west chapel, which is here. We're coming up to the monastery baths. I'm not going to hit that area just now. Um, that is not in my intention to do. <laughs> Which, um... That's this direction here. We have the key for it, but I don't need it. <coughs> Take this. 1,020, and then there is a... Uh, Stationary monk right here that we can sneak by. He never turns. It's that shadow. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can, if we're safe here. <laughs> what noise there? It softly calls. Yeah, I don't think we're safe anywhere in here, so we have to wait for that guy to come past us. <laughs> Wasn't a problem in my practice run. Let's see, we can probably. Are we safe here? A man will come unto thee. I don't think we are, actually. Who's there? That we can probably do. We can hide behind the door. Okay. 
There's a stationary monk here. He never turns or moves. So he is going to be a little bit of a problem, but not really. There's another Into the candelabra, I guess they're called. Flakes, matching A onto A and B onto B. 1070. There. The enemies of the goodly gear. We can drop this crate here. Okay. So let me explain a little bit here. Um, if someone is there, then show thyself. Yeah. So this is looking down um, north, pretty close to the uh, west wing entrance, which is through a window right below us. Um, so we can get down there without having to blow up those barrels in the basement. The problem is getting back up, because you're supposed to go back through the basement to get back up. So the only way to get back up is to use two rope arrows uh, and get into one of these windows here. The problem is that once we have visited the prison the first time, these windows are all going to close. A couple of them are closed now, but three or four of them are open. They're going to close with the gate that goes down here, so then we can't get through that way. Um, however, we have to bring two crates and block that gate from lowering. And then we can rope up and get through and then return the crates afterwards. That's the only way. And it's kind of interesting because Galaire wrote a ghost report on this mission. And him and I found the, both m the same method to get back up here. It's the only way for, for Ghost and Supreme to keep those intact. <clears throat> He had a little bit of a different way to get down into the garden without blowing up the barrels. And I'm going to use his method, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Uh, I'll show you which, which method I found, too. Let's see, here's also a ledge. I don't think we can use that ledge to get over here. We're going to use the rope arrows. So we've taken two ropes now. But we're going to have to bring over the second crate, and those are the closest crates. Yeah, the two at the end are, are closed already, but... back and get the other crate, we're going to go through the underground crypt so that we can loot, loot that along the way. Which is down here. Here, there's a secret in here. Let's see, here it is. A switch back here. Moves that statue away. And reveals uh, sort of a little digging spade or a trowel, I think they're called. That's the closest I can put it back. That one was worth um, 100, total 1170. <laughs> See, this is a guy that passes through, I think. Yes, it is. Over here's a trophy. Worth 45. And there's another secret. This is a very well hidden one. And that reveals this door opens. It closes on its own, I think. Yeah. 
And that doesn't actually give us any loot, but it takes us to a high balcony above the underground crypt where there's a healing potion and there's a readable. In the name of the Holder, we pray for the exile of the wicked who contaminate the walls of our temple. Any metal is liable to rust, but stones are steadfast and will stay forever. Let it be so. Alrighty. crypt area. This room we haven't been into. This is just a dead-end hall. But there's a readable here. Brothers, if you should need anything from the junk pile that was here, try looking in two places. First, search the quicksands where the ignorant brothers throw the rubbish during low tide. If you cannot find what you want there, then go to the old monastery baths. You can ask the steward for the key. So, that was the steward we saw. Uh, now, if we haven't been to the guest hall yet, which really we wouldn't be, then we don't know where the steward is. So there are other readables that are going to reveal that to us. There's nothing in this toolbox, I think. So now we're going to go and get the second crate. Now we have to place those crates, and hopefully we can do that in a way that will work. <laughs> it's a little bit very difficult to test it, because you don't know if it's correctly placed until you try to go back up. It's whether they, first of all, will block the gate that comes down, and, and secondly, said, are we going to be able to squeeze through afterwards. And we need to be able to squeeze through without alerting that other monk there. fairly far down on the edge like that. Let's see. <coughs> Maybe we have to do... Good. Thinking maybe we can place them a little bit further into the room. <coughs> Problem is to get through. We need to be able to mantle up. That's the main point. That should be able to do it. Shadow passed my view. And Karis said, Let us give thanks to the builder, for he has formed my hands with fingers. 
and behold, my fingers interlock like cogs on a wheel. I am part of a wonder. Let's see. Good, we made it just the time here. There we go. I think that's good. Um, maybe we'll won't save over that in case I have to go back and redo it, but I don't think I will. I got a couple of the saves I'm going to show you later on. Placed crates, let's call it that. So now we're going to head this direction. So basically, our idea now is to get to this location, okay? And um, that can be done at least in two different ways. But we have to approach it from the chapel level. So we have to go through the refectory and through the open gallery and then access the uh, garden from above here. You can do that by hopping down in a mantle. Um, but in order to get there, we have to actually go through the scriptorium and not the guest hall, but we're going to uh, actually go through the, the basement or the cellar and then come from the east here. So that's a little bit of a different way around. So basically now we're in the black hole room. And um, there is a door here. There's a patroller that goes down all the way to the bottom here, but I don't think he's here now. Let's see. This door here is the one that is bolted shut. I believe that's the one, yeah, that brings you to the cellar. It could take you then to the west side of where those barrels are found, but um, since that's the one that isn't operable, then we can't do that. Under here, however, is one of those mugs or pitchers. I think that's worth 20, so 12.35. And then this brings us into the North Crypt. Now this is another area where uh, Mora will impact our progress here. Okay, I think that he, I think he's going to go in there. Yeah. That lies beyond the house of Cabbage. <laughs> Up here is a gold candlestick that we're going to take, 1285. Now over on the altar there is a key and a readable. Uh, we're going to take that key. We don't technically need it for progression, but we need it for loot. But when we get close to that altar where it is, Mora is going to close and lock this door. Now I want to prevent that from happening, um, because then we have to pick it open. So I'm going to sort of rush over here. Oh, I double clicked it. Don't you hear that? arrow there. She puts out a light. And then she tries to lock the door. Now it's locked. Um, but we stopped it from actually locking us in here. Again, we could pick it open, but I feel that leaving it the way that she has changed things is okay. Uh, Brother Fernan, have you come to pray? When finished, please remember that the chimneys in the guest hall are in need of sweeping. Please don't do them today, as you risk uh, scaring the guests should you fall into a fireplace, the steward. <laughs> Not concerned for his health, but that he's scaring the guests. So here's the chimney sweep key. We're going to get that, but since we need to return that key, I wanted to lock block this door so that we can lock it behind us when we're done. going. Probably down where I'm going, so. So we got to remember to close that door <coughs> and lock it behind us when we are doing our return. 
turning of the keys run. <laughs> so now we're headed into the scriptorium. There are a few things here. doesn't turn. <coughs> there is a secret in here that I want to get. Where is it? <coughs> oh, you know what? Uh, it might not actually be. There you go. It's not a book. It's um, a switch here and removes, or reveals, rather, <clears throat> a book in the floor. History of the Monastery, Volume 2. Not long before the war began, the Order of Bricklayers had given up its independence and joined the Mechanists, accepting their faith. It was a necessary decision to prevent the loss of the Order, but even then, cooperation with the Mechanists was considered to be expedient. The true faith is officially forbidden, but it's still respected by the Brothers and Mechanists. Rituals are kept purely for the purpose of avoiding direct confrontation. Same concerns apply to the symbolism. Mechanists came, and they will go, but the order will remain. Any metal is liable to rust, but stones are steadfast and will stay forever. <coughs> Wise words. There's nothing else there, so we can get the count for that secret and turn this thing. So this guy is a little bit uh, unpredictable, because he has a script that's sort of leaning forward and seemingly reading, but then... In <coughs> and he doesn't first alert during that, but then in between he could first alert. See so you now how he's doing there. He is blocked. His view is blocked by the bookcases. Can't read any of these, I think. We can take that loot. If we head over here. There's a broadhead arrow back here. There's a fire arrow, I believe, in this fireplace here. Okay, there's a guy coming here as well. Let's wait for him. There are a few that have lengthy patrols that go through this room. I'm not really sure if he's going to pass through it. We're going to leave out that door, but there's another piece of loot over there. slow here because that other monk can see us if we move too fast. <laughs> here is a statue and then there is a readable here as well. Let me double check if it actually is in this room. Yeah, it actually took a while for me to find it. It's way over here. It's in the wrong bookcase. There we go. 
Book of Legends. In the annals of the Order of Bricklayers, we can find references to some interesting facts. It is said that certain hidden passages were created in order to go out or in, in or out of the monastery secretly, say in the event of enemy occupation. There is even indirect evidence that one of the passages starts somewhere in the pillar crypt. That's interesting to know. It is stated in documents that one novice entered the crypt from the northern door and never left it through that door or the opposite one, and anybody has, and nobody has seen him since that time. But all attempts to find the passage have failed. Even if it even existed, it was probably accidentally ruined when the crypt was reconstructed. Okay. So now we have what we need in the scriptorium. 1325. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's coming. And as said, let us give thanks to the builder yes, for he has worn my too. hands with fingers, and bits, and bits, and bits, and behold my fingers interlocked with cogs, like cogs on a gear. Okay, now this is the ladder that leads up to the chimney. this you find a rope arrow, so we could have taken that. Empty toolbox, sorry. And this is the key that the chimney sweeps key works on. And the only reason I want to be up here is because of this piece of loot, a bottle of wine, 1375. Now this is then the intended way to get to the guest hall. This is what I tried to show you guys from the other side earlier. there. But, if you heard there, <laughs> Mora for, somehow pushed the ladder that we took now up down, so it's now laying uh, next to the roof there. So there's no way, at least in my opinion, to get down here now safely. So you're forced to go through the guest hall and um, go that way. So that is something I didn't want to do. But I wanted to get the key in order to get the loot. So we'll return that key later. Any interaction with Mora that I do are those that I have to do for objective purposes or for the purpose of loot. So now we're headed downstairs all the way to the cellar. So now we're in the hospice. There is a guy here in front of a, a blackboard, um, maybe a teacher of some sort. He never gives first alerts. He seems to be occupied by some kind of script. So that's nice for us. We're going to head this way first. All right. So this is then the barrels and the casks of brandy. Here, there's a guy here. Though there isn't actually a guy, it's just a sound. No, 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 no. Let's read this. Brothers, because of the dangers of fire, we have moved the powder kegs to a safer place. If you should need to carry out explosive work again, you can find all you will need in a room reached by the staircase from the closet. If the door is locked, ask Sister Michaela, the steward. Uh, yeah. 
that closet is right here. So that's the stairs to the closet. It's in the cathedral. So that's where we most likely then can find a powder keg of some sort. I don't want to pick up that note. Okay, so in here we have a diamond. 1475, and then we have a very well hidden piece of loot here, a bottle of wine, 1525. See, there is a patrol or two in here. Okay. Make sure I avoid him. The barrier through the block of dust and dirt. The enemies. Here you have the teacher. And on The little ledge by the blackboard, you have a piece of chalk. And that is going to be important. I'm not going to take that, but it's going to be important for a later objective that I'm not going to do. I'm going to skip it and I'll explain why. Okay, underneath. Over here, I think. Yeah, there is a healing potion. Kind of well hidden. Here, there's another contribution box. <coughs> We're stealing from <coughs> money donated, <coughs> excuse me, to the hospital here. That is not very ethical. But it's just a game. So 1535. All right. This is then door into the guest hall, and as you can see, it is not probable because we haven't opened the, the deadbolt on the other side. And since that can't be relocked, I'm not going to do that. This is then out to the... to the... walkway where I gave you the ghost challenge on the other side by Abby Court. Is he coming in here or is he not? No. That's just a scripted maneuver. That's not something we have to worry about. Okay, now we come up on a pretty difficult area. This is the refractory. I think I showed you this briefly Who's earlier. There? Because this guy here This guy here. <coughs> say, is positioning himself in two directions. Northwest, which he is right now. No. Yes, and then southwest. Did that and we need him to be stationed basically southwest. Sorry, northwest. Until we get out of This is just a matter of RNG or randomized events. Just have to go along this wall until he won't see us anymore. If he turns back. <coughs> and now we got far enough. Good. It can be quite annoying. He doesn't turn too often. There are somebody else, too, that comes through this room. There's a piece of loot on the other side under the table there, a gold goblet. <laughs> now we're 
basically so far away he doesn't see us no matter what. So we took that gold goblet. Worth 75. We should have... But I'm sure of the number here. Let me check Come something. Into the light so that I might... No, it's correct. I was just... I was just off on my totals there. So now we are headed uh, into the kitchen area. Nothing to pick up in the kitchen, you know, uh, weapons or even foods, but there are three pieces of loot. Two gold plates here. And then a gold goblet there. The fact that she didn't hear that is quite amazing. Ooh. How does Garrett make that much noise <laughs> on a table? And Kara spake, saying, I am the gear, and you are the cogs. Without the gear, the cogs have no purpose. And without the cogs, the gear has no purpose. We should have 1605 then, yeah, correct. There we go. So now we are up in the open gallery. Keep away from that guy's view here. Here's a guy sweeping. He does not give first alerts. this statue there is a tiara total 1730 and then to back here behind one of these there is a moss arrow it's behind that bench right there on the ground okay wasn't a door there, was there? No. Okay, he doesn't first alert, like I said. Uh, over in that corner is the archive. I'm not going to go there now, because I want to trigger an objective that tells us to go to the archive, so you can see all the different objectives. Okay. 
And that bucket over there is a water arrow. And then you have sort of a little heap hidden area here. That doesn't count as a secret though, but it's three moss arrows back here. Okay, now this is a door that takes you into the cathedral. But I don't think it actually works with the cathedral key. I think you need the closet key for that, which we do not need to pick up. So this method of entry here, I'm going to give credit to Galaire. So I did not find this. I didn't really look for it either, though. I was just prepared to pick up the cathedral key, but we don't need to. Here. So you can mantle up the torch without being worried about losing any damage or anything. Or taking any damage. And you can move over here. <laughs> now, now you have an option. You can go this way, or you can go that way. If you want to go to the cathedral, you can go this way. I'm just going to show you something at the cathedral right now. And this is then down to where we need to go. <laughs> this door is locked. If we go this way, we actually get into the cathedral through the western entrance. I just want to show you guys real quick in here. Because here is the closet key. Yeah, that's the one that works on the door that I showed you. And there's a readable here as well. Angry letter. Sister Michaela, please find the steward as a matter of urgency and tell him that my work to overwrite the charter of the order has had to be stopped. Um, I cannot write in the dark and the lamp above my table is completely out of order. It would seem that cooperation with the mechanist does not serve our order well. You will no doubt find his business either in the guest hall or somewhere nearby. P.S. I know that your vision is poor, so do not pretend that you can recognize the steward by face. Today he will be dressed in a blue cowl as he is meeting guests, Brother Alvaro. So that's a very nice hint if you don't have uh, means of getting into the bath, for example, which is the other readable sent to see the steward. Mm. Closet door, I think, also Who's works on there? this. Yep. This is the staircase, then, that goes down to the closet. <laughs> Paris, steal my nerves. For, nothing after all. For some reason, that closet door does not work on it. But our lockpicks do. <laughs> Here we go. So this is, then, uh, closet... <laughs> And we got locked in here now, actually. We can pick the lock open again if we wanted to. Or we could have blocked that door. That would be nice, because then it would be left locked, since we picked it open. Here is a powder barrel. So that's the one that you need to carry down as a junk item, actually. It doesn't go into your inventory. Down to the basement, and then find a fire arrow, which I've shown you a few of. And um, blow those barrels up to proceed westward in the basement. Uh, that's not something I'm going to do, because that would bust ghost. However, here, I used this window and dropped in a mantle right next to that guard to get down into the, um, the northwest garden area. But uh, I'm not going to do that, because uh, Galair, again, found a better way. If you go this direction... Here. So here we have to now drop and land in a mantle. I know that is very unrealistic that is possible to do. That is a part of the engine, and that is totally fine for any ghost mode. That was a little bit too... Let's see, this might be... Good. There we have it. Now we can actually go into the other part of the basement right here. And 
here's a spice bag, total 1770. It's the only piece of loot that we hadn't taken in the in the basement. There's some apples here on the floor. This is the door then that cannot be be fropped. If we go down here, this is the other side of the barrels. Now notice that the machine or the Victrola is not here. Now it's on the other side. And it's interesting, if you blow these caskets up, there is no guy, you know, there is no person, even though you can hear a drunk guy. I think that's kind of cool, that you see the Victrola from both sides, but you can't actually touch it or get close to it. What's in this? Nothing. Here then. <coughs> okay. Show you a few things here. In this bucket there is a water arrow. And I think over in this corner there is a moss arrow. I believe. There's a rope arrow here. Hmm. A shadow passed my view. Next. It raises All up. is quiet once more. Thanks be to Callus. Okay, you can sneak up here too. The door up there is locked. You can't get in there. There's another guard on this <laughs> ledge here, but if you drop this way. Here is, I think, another rope arrow. Yes, so there's quite a few rope arrows in the mission. We are going to get into these windows. They don't see that. Here. So now we are in the Aquilon. Aquilon, whatever it's called. And in here there's an urn. That we can take 1790. I think that's what it is anyway. If we go this direction, back east, get to a couple of doors that we can pick. We're not going to actually do this, but. See, there's a broadhead arrow, there's a target there. Another door that you can pick. No clue why this is such a difficult pick. That that kind of annoys me a little bit when authors do this because it, it's just tedious. Anyway, in here are two more rope arrows, I think, and there is a flash bomb in this one. That's all. No need for us to go into any of those rooms. Instead, what we can do is we can take a look here. Here is a fire arrow. There is another powder barrel somewhere. I can't really remember where it is. If I don't find it and you guys know where it is, please comment below. So here we have a guard. And let me know what Aquilon means. I tried to look that up and I could not figure out a good explanation for it. We have to sneak by here so he doesn't give a first alert. So now we're actually on our way to the prison. And it is locked and cannot be picked. Here's a readable. To all brothers assigned to doorman's duties, in accordance with the abbot's quarter, 
order, a doorman may only leave his post if the bell tolls the signal for extra prayer. Even then, he may only leave his post for up to seven minutes, and only to visit the Aqualon Hall, as the prisoners should not be left unguarded for too long. Okay, so that is very valuable information. Now we got some updated objectives. So, learn the correct bell signal. There is probably a list of all possible signals somewhere. That somewhere is in the archive. If we had gone to the archive and read this, um, this would already have been checked off, or maybe it wouldn't even have shown, I'm not sure. Toll the correct bell signal for extra prayers to make the doorman leave the prison. It is the only way to get inside. And we know now that he will only be gone for seven minutes. So the doorman is in here, he's past the door uh, beyond the gate here. So he will walk from his position. and into the Aqualon. And station himself over here for seven minutes. So we have to toll the bells and then come down here in seven minutes and grab his key. And now you can also hear that those gates are trying to close, but the one window is blocked, so it's just gonna keep making that noise. <laughs> I drop any less than that? I want to take that damage here. Goodness. There we go. Okay, now we have to get up there. I'm going to be a little bit quick about this. That was perfect on the first, basically the first try. And nice rope arrow shots too, if I may say so. Let's see, I'm gonna make a test save right here. Um, let me actually drop the crate first before I do that. Excellent. The fact that he is giving a first alert there means that he is not in a first alert state right now. Okay. So I'm going to bring the crates now back right away. So this is the reason why we brought those crates, was we... We needed a way to get back in without blowing up those barrels, of course. <laughs> the 
loyalty is the fuel that burns away the writhing jungle that lies beyond the house of Karas. All right, let's see. Now we're going to head into the baths, actually. Here, let's see. Here's a water arrow in the drain. This room here is just empty. <laughs> it's cool. I can. I think it's very, very cool that you can see the quicksands that we crossed uh, in Pathfinder. Uh, it sort of ties those two missions together very well. It's just an excellent way of, of showing continuation like that. So we're now uh, headed south out to the balcony area. There's some rooms we have to access from there. This is a pump room. And here's a water arrow. There's also a drill bit, total 1915. This is where we need the bath key. The whole reason we we did that, let me see here. Yeah. Here is a moss arrow. I guess it's a mold. Okay. This door here is unlocked. This is another door that Mora will close. And that will actually have great impact on our on our playthrough. So we're going to back up here. There are three more water arrows in here. We're going to back up and stop that from closing. Be quicker than that. This one was, let's see, can we actually, let's see here. So now, um, when this happens, um, we don't have the square tooth lockpick. We only have the triangle tooth. I'm trying to switch lock, uh, lockpicks now and I can't. So we only have one. The reason we have to go in here is because of this, a fuse. Uh, there is a fuse that's out in the bell tower, so we can't ring the bells unless we change the fuse. So, uh, or it, I guess it's actually going to break, but that's a scripted event, so it's not something we, we do to, to bust the mission. Um, now, I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to reload afterwards, because that'll change our objectives furthermore. Stranger, I know the old rumors of a hidden passage to the outside from somewhere in the monastery. I'm weary of monastery life. And if you are here, then the passage must really exist. I don't ask too much. Just show me the way. Mark that mysterious door with a piece of chalk. Following you invisibly, I will find your mark and will be able to get out. And your lockpicks will never be lost again, Sister Mora. So that's what we needed the piece of chalk for in the basement. <clears throat> you would take that to the uh, wall door in the basin where we emerged from the cave and mark that and that will give more of the possibility to to leave you see we get a new objective here this is an optional one so you don't have to do this uh, but for supreme this would be forced here maybe you should help mora escape from the monastery mark the secret door in the basin with a piece of chalk but you must do it now because you shouldn't be distracted when saving the major so you have to do that before you go down and get the major so before you do the whole bell signal once you do that it's too late to do this but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and there's a very specific reason for why I'm going to skip this. Why I blocked the door now. Um, well, I guess actually we wouldn't need to block the door either, would we? Oh, 
Oh, that's right. Because when you read this... Wait. How are we supposed to get out of here, then? Oh, see? That's clever. I didn't remember that. She shoves the square lockpick back under when we are sort of agreeing to do this for her. And then we can get back out. Gotcha. Okay, so we're not going to do that. Um, but we don't need to go back in here. We have the fuse, don't we? We took the fuse. So we're going to do that, and we're not going to read this. So the fact that this door got locked and this readable is here, that's all Mora's uh, doing. We need the fuse, so this isn't a bust to, to Supreme what we're doing here. No, wait. Did I make, did I mess up now? I think maybe I messed up. Because there was some loot in there as well that I needed. That really sucks. I'm going to have to go back here. To this one. Sorry about that. That won't take long to redo. But yeah, I locked the door without a possibility to get it back open. Unless I take that objective on and I won't. <laughs> minor setback, that's not a problem. on a statue in there that I forgot to take. Wait, wait, wait. That's okay. There. I like these cannons. There's there's a lot of customized objects in this campaign. Uh, just wait until you get to mission 9 enemy, which I think even is slightly better than this mission. Um, but it's, this is the best mission so far that we've played. O oh, wretched wilderness, beset with slithering, cursed above all places, find not thy way into my nightly sojourns. Attach thee not thy foul denizens to mine dreams. Okay. 
Harris said, lay down my hammer, friend. These yesteryears happened. And so we laid them down on seeing this. Now we need to return. <gasps> These two crates. Yesterday I built my home yeah. in brick and it is risky to go that way, so I'm not going to do that then. remember in my earlier years of Supreme Ghosting on my channel, I did quite a few moves that involved a lot of crates. So we haven't done some crate moves for a while. So maybe that's a welcome change, I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think about those kind of moves in general. Like when I have to do elaborate moves, like stacking <laughs> items like foods or crates or things like that. Does that break immersion for you? And do you, Does that make the run less interesting for you? Or does that actually increase... The, the viewing pleasure, and, and you, you think that those kind of moves are cool because they're so wacky. <laughs> I like them because they change up the pace of just normal thieving, and I'm imagining why that's why some of you are watching my videos, because I'm doing things that maybe the normal sane person wouldn't do. Just just my guess, anyway. My salvation. And behold, a man will come unto thee. That's the guy that's going down. Returning these crates, we have to return the chimney sweep key. We do not need that anymore.
such that complete is thy seal, a barrier true that blocketh dust and dirt, the enemies of the goodly gear. <laughs> now, in order to get ourselves into the cathedral without the cathedral key, unfortunately, we have to go all the way back through the basement, through the refectory. We have to use the method that I used when I entered the closet and showed you that area. So unfortunately there will be a little bit of backtracking now. And after we told the bells we have to go back to the prison area but then we luckily can do a, quite a bit of a shortcut. There. And now we got to make sure that we remember to close this door. stop and do all the things we did last time so it'll be a lot quicker. Before we head into the cathedral, though, now we can visit the archive. We have the archive key, and we have now a reason to go there. Oh. Uh. We can follow him back, I guess. Most unholy rot, and did falter and take flight. Still he that is Carus did raise us up against them, that we, one and next, did raise us up to. Loyalty is the fuel that burns away the writhing jungle that lies beyond the house of Carus. Yeah, we have to follow him. And wait for his patrol to be done here, so that's a little bit slow. This mission was just so much fun to figure out and to explore. And um, the objectives in Zontek's mission are so intricate. And the fact that you can, to a certain extent, manipulate it. <coughs> I think it uh, makes the run, it increases replay value for the run because you can play it in different ways. And behold, a man will come unto thee and he will be a leader of men, and he will be a wager of war, and he will be a shedder of sap, and he will be a spiller of blood. And Karis said, let us give thanks to the builder, for he hath formed my hands with fingers, and behold my fingers into lock like cogs on a gear. I am part of his unbeholdable machine, and therein lies my salvation. Into position will be thy plate. get through the um, refectory again. 
Hopefully that's as easy as it was last time. <coughs> Just have to see. The saplings did so unnatural trance that we feared of the fall. Oh. He going through the part of his yeah, he is. foldable machine. Therein lies my salvation. He's going through right now. And behold, a man will come unto thee, and he will be a leader of men. <coughs> Good. Wow, we did it on the first try both times through the refectory. This room can be very difficult. I was worried whether this would actually ruin my supreme run when I prepared for my recording, but it doesn't. <laughs> you have to hide these two patrollers. Let's see if we can do that here. I'm not sure if we can. This guy here, I think, will go back soon. That was a challenge I wasn't prepared to take on, but it went well. maybe we could go right here and go to down the archives but I don't think we can This guy here would first alert. And he will be Could a be a big problem. He, will be a he is busy with his sweeping. And he's sweeping a lot in just that one spot, so imagine this whole thing would be spotless. Said, Let us give thanks to the builder, for he has formed my hands with fingers. And behold, my fingers interlock like cogs on a gear. 
I am part of his unbeholdable machine, and therein lies my salvation. Here is the archive. Loyalty. Now, Mora is going to do some things in here, too. This just turns off. See, it turns on the lights, I think. So, I think that's something that Mora is gonna do. She's gonna mess. With, yeah, she's gonna mess with the lights. She's gonna turn on the lights. Well, that doesn't matter to us. So, the reason we came here was to read a book. That's this book. Bell signals are allowed to toll in full accordance with the monastery charter. The list of permitted signals are as follows. Morning prayer, daily prayer, evening prayer, extra prayer, fire, general alarm. So that... Uh, that uh, checked off the objective. Now, we don't have to know these. Uh, Garrett knows it by now, so he will do it correctly later. That's all it means. Use pen. Wait. There should be another readable down here too, isn't there? History of the Monastery, Volume 1. The monastery was founded by St. Helen, wife of the country doctor, de Quervain, more than a thousand years ago on the desert island. The small chapel was first built first and later, uh, after many new structures were built on top of the previous buildings, became known as the Underground Church. About a century later, a new order of bricklayers occupied the island and started to develop it. And so the monastery was born, with a name which nobody uses today. This place was always like a home for the poor. Not only could they find shelter, they were also taught the basic charter. And the tradition is still alive today. Okay. Now, here comes the last secret that I found, and I needed some hints to find it, but no spoilers. Up here, a very, very small switch. And that increases a lift here, it seems like. And then in here you have another pen, 1985, and then another readable. The Project of Balance Restoration, Prologue. The balance is a general principle of stone setting. The same principle forms the basis of the order of bricklayers. Alas, it was vandalized when a part of the Temple of Balance was destroyed. The statue of the heretic, Charis, was raised in exactly the same place as where the monument of the holder with scales in his hand used to stand. But one day the mechanists will be excommunicated, and the project will serve as a guide to true balance restoration. Uh, any metal is liable to rust, but stones are steadfast and will stay forever. There we go, and we can close that back up. And then we are finally ready to enter the cathedral. There are some patrollers out here, but... Oh! <laughs> I think 
maybe he saw me through the window. <gasps> they can't see us from this distance here. Let me show you this area. This is a magnificent statue. Look at this. Who's there? Who goes there? If someone is there, then show them. Oh, and receive the fight. Stand ready. <gasps> ah, curse thee! Thou shalt trouble us no longer. Whoa. This is magnificent. Look at this. This is a desktop Where for the image the right here. Armed over much. He's close. One of the best looking missions I've ever seen. Uh, for sure. Okay. So now we're in the cathedral. That warrants a real save. For sure. Let's see. Here, first of all, there is a well hidden uh, little mech statue there. And that gets us to 2000, which is the loot objective. area before. But what we didn't do was get the loot then. A gold goblet. 2025. There. The cathedral isn't too difficult, actually. Thought it would be a lot worse. In here, there is a coin pair. And then there is a candlestick, 2095. There's a book. De Quervain Chapel, named in honor of the country doctor who treated the poor and was the first to undertake serious scientific research. That research has become the basis of all modern medicine. Inning Chapel. It is a reminder of those who risked their lives trying to reclaim the huge swamps around Blackbrook. Now there are uh, blossoming gardens and fine grapes instead. Holy Spring Chapel, so called in memory of a pure water spring found in the rock at the base of the monastery. This spring gave life to the island as still is used uh, nowadays. The chapel is placed almost directly above it. St. Helen Chapel, it is named after the monastery founder. Being the wife of the country doctor, de Corvain, she often walked uh, in the outskirts searching for medicinal plants. Once arrived at this, this island, she was inspired by the place, uh, built the first church, and formed the, founded the hospice. Holy Child Chapel. It is a common mistake to suppose that the fifth chapel is devoted to the mechanical children of Karis. Its real function is as a reminder that life must also go on in the natural way. So that was describing the five parts to the cathedral here. So you have the five listed. So we're going to head over to those right now. But maybe we should go the other way. This is dark, this side. is a there's nothing here either of these sides here there's a stationary monk up there we have to be careful we have to sneak along the side here you have to go the slowest you can in order to avoid a first alert from him I was worried that he would also bust us but as long as we go slow, he is not going to alert.
All right. So this is the Holy Child Chapel. There's a rug in here that we need. 2150, and then if we take this. Then that happens. <laughs> uh, I think maybe that reference is something that is going to happen in the next, uh, in two chapters from now, an enemy. I'm not 100% sure. Who fed there? He sees us there too. <laughs> to St. Helen chap Chapel. There's a coin pair. And here is two rings. Spring Chapel. There's a water arrow here. And importantly, there are two goblets. And there came a sycamore, and he did rain blows till it too was sorely smoted. And two lamblings came that he, one and the next, did smoke bravely and well. Now we're in the Corvain Chapel. Wait, are we? No, we're in the Inning Chapel now. And all that's in here are... There are two Mars arrows, I think, in these vines. Yeah, I'm not going to show you where they are. There's a little mini wheelbarrow as well. To the spiral valve, the spiral valve connected to the step gear, the step gear connected to the steam deck. Oh, dear Jesus. Here's a candelabra and an urn. It's that shadow. <laughs> if we speed up even the slightest in his view, he will see us. Soft. Was a noise. How does this take us here? <coughs> oh, that's right. This takes us up to one of the top balconies. I don't think we can get through here, though. <coughs> if I remember correctly, no. He will see us because we're too close to him. So we have to go all the way around and take a different way up. <laughs> That's 
right, I remember that now. We're ne gonna need to go up to those walkways there, and we're gonna go up on the roof too and everything, but... <coughs> Can't do that, you see that that hallway there is way too close to him. Seventy that we do. to go now is this door here. You remember the one door I said in one of the chapels in the south crypt here, rather, that could take you up to the cathedral? Well, that would have taken you up to the bottom floor of the staircase. So now I entered on the middle floor, and we're going to go all the way up. This take us west. But soft. It was a noise I hold in Karis name. Oh yeah, no, this is not where we're gonna go right now. We're gonna go this way. We are gonna go up to the roof, but not right now. I am turned around where on earth we're going here. <laughs> this is where we're going. <laughs> I'm gonna go. very difficult to get down on that ledge there. <laughs> but we need to do that. There. If he comes past, we can go. Hopefully. And there came the oxen and carried smoted. And there came at the sycamore, and he did rain blows till it too was sorely snowed, <laughs> and two landings came that he Then we need to wait for him to go past again. 2390. There is a guy on the other side there too, so and be careful said, about him. Hear ye the rustling of the leaves, raise ye up and smite ye down the tree. Verily we hacked and bled, though till the last chestnut fled, <laughs> and then knelt ye down and wept. And 
now we're going to head over this way. Because that locked door is operated by the monk that you saw across. So now we're in the northwestern walkway. We have to get through that door. You can't pick it. There's no key for it. Don't think the cathedral key even works on that. So you have to wait and use the door when he opens it. However, if you sort of frob the door, uh, he will hear that because it actually makes noise just frobbing it when it's open. What noise there? That's uh, so this is actually very difficult to do. We have to lean around the corner and block the door with our body after he passes. We can't touch him because he'll alert to us. Stop! Yeah, he's, he's down. there. So that we have to do without making noise. <clears throat> Tough. And Kara said, Here there, you the good. Raise me up and smite you down the trees. So now we can open the door. Get this. And my goodness. <laughs> and we're going to read this. Brother Alvaro, I regret that we cannot replace your lamp at the moment. The key to the storage is now kept by the steward alone, and he is too busy preparing to meet your gu meet guests. As he does not wish to be distracted, you will need to wait until the guests leave. Anyway, we should, we all should practice humility to save the order, Brother Leonard. So 2465. That's the only way I've found to get in here for Supreme. Now, of course, we can just close the door. And it'll remain locked. Now we're going to head up this way, which is up to the bell tower. No, it's up to the roof. That's what it is. Well, it is heading up to the bell tower, but... Notice up there there's a ladder, or actually a little fence. That should hint to that there's something up there. And that's from this. Very well hidden secret. One of the last ones I found too. secret. Now you can't see this balcony from below. Didn't show that to you, but that should maybe be a hint that there is something here. Gold goblet, a bottle of wine, 2540, and the order of bricklayers, holy symbols. a chest that holds a healing potion. And then now we are headed up to the bell tower itself. A 
Here is the bell tower. Brother, brother monks, the grounding to the bell tower tall system is still not plugged in, so we have temporarily installed an extra fuse. It's very likely that they burn out too often because of so much static electricity at the high altitude. So you should always keep a few reserved ones somewhere handy. Chief mechanic. Very interesting. Oh. Now up here is a door that is not probable, but... There is a way to get past it. Here is a statue. And then there are a few things that we can do here. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see, we're going to shoot a rope. There. This is a secret. It's a gold candlestick. Let's see. And then I can go up here. <laughs> there. And then there's another gold candlestick here. That doesn't count as a secret, but anyway. And then we can skip past that door by jumping over here. That's where the, the um, staircase continues. This door isn't anything. And we come up to the very, very spire. bell tower. <laughs> and here you can actually... No. <laughs> Get all the way up here. That gives you a new objective, actually. You have never managed to get so high before. And there is another one of those trowels here. 2755. And then you can actually see all the way around the compound here. I think this is cool. got a bonus objective and we got a piece of loot up there. No, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Alright, so another <laughs> secret, very difficult to find, is a bottle of wine behind the organ uh, keys here. 2805. Uh, now I'm going to save it. Now, if we try to use it now, the fuse will blow. Now, that's not a that's not property damage because we didn't use a weapon or force, and it's uh, you know it's scripted and it was implied by one of the by one of the readables down there, and it even gives us a new objective. Um, 
Let's see. The system of the bell the tolls is out of order. You need to fix it. And we have a new fuse, right? I didn't want to go all the way back down. That fixed this problem. And now I'm going to toll the bells here. So that uh, checks off that objective. Now we have seven minutes to go down there and get the key from the doorman. And that we can do. I'm going to do something else first, actually. Actually, what I'm going to do to get down here is... Uh... Not that. There. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the last secret. There. There. And here. If you go all the way over here, there's a chest on top of the ossuary roof. That chest has a gas arrow. That's uh, the final secret. I'm not going to take that because that would be an unnecessary pickup. But you can uh, drop here in a mantle and mantle up there without taking damage. That's not too difficult. Well, you just have to try until you get the right angle and, and order. But we're not going to do that. Instead, we are going to drop down the other way. I said that was a shortcut now. To get to where we need to go, and there is. Oh, come on. Here, if we go this way, and that way, we're going to have to mantle. Oh! A little bit further back. Above the courtyard where we made that leap down towards the prison earlier. This can be tough as well because we need to land. <laughs> oh, okay, that wasn't too bad. Here. Now we are back on the roof. And now we can easily make our way down to the... <laughs> cathedral... Uh, sorry, the... What is it called? The West Wing. See if we can do that. <laughs> oh, wretched wilderness, beset with slitherings, cursed above all places, find not thy way into my nightly sojourns. Attach thee not thy foul denizens to my dreams. Oh. There, nice. Such that complete is thy seal. Let's see, we don't have a lot left here. The enemies of the goodly gear. Who's there? Who what? goes there? Why is he positioned that direction? <coughs> Thank you. 
That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, well then we have to use a rope arrow. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna make a real save. I've never been... I've never seen that problem before. We should be able to make it down... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. This is, this is gonna suck big time if we can't do this. First, try to do this with just a jump, because then we don't have to worry about getting the getting the rope back. That not going to be possible. That is so incredibly. <laughs> well, if this isn't possible, I'm going to have to redo the the whole. Um, think this is going to be possible, guys. I'm going to try it one more time from the other... <coughs> I've never seen this before. <laughs> well, this might be possible. What drag? Ooh. What drag? It might be possible if we get in behind that pillar. Oh. And there came a knock and a carry through. And there came a big moor, and he did bring those to it too, those naked. And two animals came, and he one in the middle of his own crazy and wrong. Yes. But we can't get past now because of this pillar. <coughs> We're going to get spotted now, you see. Who's there? Yeah. No, this isn't going to work. I'm going to have to redo the, the bells. So happy I made that. Uh, and I'm going to show you this redoing here. We might have just accidentally saved. <laughs> in the wrong location there, because he's walking now. Wait, I have what I need to have right now. Wait, I placed the 2805. Yes. Something like that. Oh, <coughs> that's way too far back. Might have just saved it 
right at the wrong time. I've never seen that before. So I don't think I think if we do it again, we're not going to have that problem. I I hope. Cuz that's not a like a scripting problem or a positional problem. It's it's a saving issue with us. <gasps> That is way too long. That too. That is not enough. <gasps> the piston connected to the spiral valve. The spiral valve connected to the step gear. The step gear connected to the steam jack. Oh, hear thee the word of Carrick. Let's, um, let's hope it's good this time. <coughs> I really hope it's good this time, because he's not supposed to be facing that direction. <laughs> how he's supposed to be facing. Now we can take his key ring <coughs> and be on our merry way. Hmm. wonder why that happened. Okay. There. Here. And I have seen it. If you wait seven minutes, he'll come back. He'll go this direction. Now go through this door. I don't know where he goes beyond that. So I'm going to leave the keys right on the other side of this door. Here's a flash bomb, by the way. Uh, let's see. This door we need to lock, block. And here we have the major. There, now this is lock, blocked. Here's a book. Treat the captain correctly. Do not use drugs. Okay. And then we also have um, a flare in here. And in this chest, there's four loaves of bread. And then we gotta return the key ring right here. Yeah. There. That's good enough. That's on his route. Uh, now, this is where Mora would be. In fact, I have a, a save. Right here. Where we can see what happens if you take the objective for um, for Mora. So you can see here, now I've actually completed the optional objective. I've marked the door in the basement. So let's see what she says. I don't think that you came with me, unfamiliar. In any case, it's already late. They won't let you go. I don't think you come for me, stranger. Anyway, it's too late. They won't let me leave. I've tried. Your mark on the door was my last hope. I've lost my chance. They overtook me when I opened the door. They were probably watching me. They were probably watching me. They were probably watching me. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you cannot return the same way. Now they guard the passage. Forgive me, stranger. Okay. So, what that means is guards are now in the basin. If we load up the third save here, we can see what that looks like. So now we have talked to Mora and... down here 
there are two guards. Now you get new objectives, even. Um, it seems impossible to leave the monastery by the same route. Find another way out. Um, and that other way out I will show you, but that's not a way that is possible to do for Supreme. That's why I wanted to circumvent this whole optional objective, because if you get that in your list, you have to do it for Supreme, and therefore you will end up in sequence getting this objective. And then you can't leave this traditional way here. I think this is a cool part of the objective list that you get, but uh, we don't want it for Supreme. So I'm going to reload um, the quick save right now. There. So now we should be able to close that and it's locked, and we should be able to close this and it's locked. Ah, what a nice hero. In a hurry as always. Let's go. We're running out of time. Maybe we'll, we'll have lunch first. Maybe I should go away. I'm not limited for time. Major, you don't give me any choice. So here, uh, we get the blackjack, and that means we are supposed to blackjack him. <coughs> And that is also not a bust. At least you've given me a cause to do that. It's not a bust because the objective says to free the Major and get him outside the monastery. The only possible way to do that is to carry him. There's no way for us to run outside otherwise. And then you have to blackjack him. So this follows a little bit, uh, you know, with the kidnap objective of Cavador, Thief 2. Uh, and since we are, you know, the game brings up the blackjack, I didn't do that. So then it's obviously implied. So that is okay for Supreme. Here's a secret, actually. Underneath here. And this one closes on its own. So this is uh, an, a hidden way out of the prison area. So I guess he could have used that all along, but he didn't know. So what's good for us now is that we can just bring the Major down to the Basin and leave that normal way. We don't have to worry about anything else. But this is a nice way out of the prison. There was no way we would have been able to. Well, we would have had to leave the crates in place and sort of use two ropes. And climb with him on our shoulder up the two ropes. <laughs> Some blankets here. now. There we go. So from the ossuary, it means that we can go this way. Friend? Oh, no. Can we hide back here? Hopefully. So 
now we're going to use the entrance into the pillar crypts. <coughs> conversation over here. I'm not going to listen to that right now. <clears throat> In fact, what I'm going to do is before I do the pillow crypts, I'm going to return our two keys, right? We have that's key and the archive key. That's key we can put right here. So he walks past here. <laughs> and then the archive key we have to return to the to the ad court. Sake, is there someone there? Tread there? Could I have done that a little bit quicker, maybe? <gasps> Come into the light, so not sure if I could have. For Karis sake, no, that's not going to work. We have to wait for him to. something real quick. couple more pieces of loot and one secret in the pillar crypts that we have to do. <coughs> Dragonfly. Oh, he saw me. He see me there. I was too close to the pillars, maybe. What noise there? What? Softly oh. Getting sloppy. Close the door. Mora locked it, so that's fine.
Who treads there? Oh. Was the steward here, maybe? Dropped your bath key, buddy. Alright, so the only place we have left now is the pillar grips. There are three pieces of loot in there, and one conversation and one secret we have to do, and then bring the major. Let's listen to that conversation now. Just right here. You forget yourself, Monsignor Abbot. Not at all, my son. You are among those who are crossing the line. When we handed you the monastery keys, when we joined your faith because we found it true, don't tell me. We came to an agreement that we would retain many options for the brothers. And what did we have today? You wish to place some turkey cock in our cage. Very well, we must assist our brothers in faith. We've granted you the West Wing entirely. We've provided your soldiers free access to all monastery rooms. You are still not satisfied. You've barricaded the only passage through the cellar with some stupid barrels. You locked the last door, and now the brothers cannot ro roam on their own territory. Вы заперли последнюю оставшуюся дверь, и теперь у братьев вообще нет возможности перемещаться по собственной территории. Но пленного охраняют один из ваших братьев. Это несущественно. Это инцидентно. Я удивлен. Хорошо. Well, listen to me now. We both know that we are not really brothers in faith. You still have dissidents. The thing you call cooperation is really capitulation. Uh, and there is no indulgence for the de defeated, defeated in war. Do you insist that I continue with this theme? No, but don't forget, we know something too. We allowed you to ruin a part of the cathedral to free space for that awful statue. But many of you disrespected. I even heard rumors that some people almost call Karas a heretic. It isn't spoken aloud, but if Capella should hear that one day, you will be in serious trouble. Do you understand? Но если эти разговоры однажды дойдут до Капилана, у вас будут крупные неприятности. Понимаете? Хорошо. Well, well. Let's keep the fragile armistice where it's still possible. And I promise to give you the keys back soon. Ловлю вас на слове. I'll remember your promise, my son. Okay. We need to take the key here. No, sorry, the purse off of one of these. There, 2905. And then I'm gonna show you guys something. What dragonfly? Builder. This is the secret way out. <coughs> leave that there. <coughs> and leave that here. <coughs> that opens this. Now, we cannot do that for Supreme, because we have to place something on those. And as soon as you... As soon as you do that... <coughs> Um, you have to return those items. And this maybe can be blocked, I'm not sure, but it's just a fiddly way if it even can be done. 
Uh, you have to bring items there and then return the items, and it, it this is just not feasible for Supreme. I've never been able to, to do that. I didn't really try once I realized I could just avoid it. Okay. So, let's see. I'm go in here and grab another piece of loot. Candle. And then in one of the east areas here. There's a switch on the statue here. There. That's the last secret that we can take. There's another spade under there. 2980, and that is max loot for Supreme. It is 20 under the max, because we couldn't take the two gold plates furthest to the east in the guest hall. Let's leave. <coughs> laughing, I'm not really sure why, but... here because we have not marked the door with chalk. Let's see. Okay, so that was a successful Supreme Ghost of Mission 7 of Patriot Heretic. Uh, we took 2 hours, 19 minutes, and 44 seconds, and we found 2980 loot out of 3000. So we skipped 20, the two gold plates in the guest hall towards the east. You can take those for Ghost and get Perfect Thief, but I wanted to fulfill Supreme requirements. We picked 5 out of 5 pockets. We picked no locks. We did one knockout, but that's excused because it's the major scrunch that we have to free. And we dealt one damage. That's also excused then for the same reason. Nothing and nobody killed, and we found 11 out of 13 secrets. The last two are picking up items that are unnecessary. And we have spent 8 hours, 52 minutes, and 3 seconds to do this campaign so far. 10,259 and killed at least 26. <laughs> that's quite crazy. So, I love this mission. I think it's so great. Uh, there was a little bit of tediousness in the beginning in the guest hall, but that was worth it to get as much loot as we could. Uh, let me know what you think of this mission. And next time we're going back to the Black Parade, we're doing Death's Dominion, which is another fantastic mission. So, I hope you're looking forward to that. This has been a long one, but um, it is what it is for Supreme. Uh, until next time, stay safe, guys, and have a good evening.